Okay guys, they just left. They finished the barn. This is the right side. I got a six by six garage door. This is gonna be my workshop. It's on the outside of the fence so I can work in here and leave the door open and don't have to worry about the goats and stuff messing with me. I did install a four foot gate right here with this two way latch. I love it. I seen it on uh, Adler Farms. They really talked about it and I saw them and I went and got me one. This is a 10 by 20 workshop. I'm gonna come in here, right here, put an electrical box in and there's gonna be a water hookup just in case. I don't know why, but I'm gonna put a water spigot right here just in case. And then it's gonna be from here all the way to the end is gonna be a workbench. And then from here, all the way down is gonna be a workbench. I'm gonna hang a couple lights up in here. This back wall, there's not gonna be a workbench right here, but right here in the center is gonna be where I'm gonna put my uh, battery charger and, and tools and everything. It's gonna be a little sh mounted on the wall and you'll be able to put your batteries in. You got your battery chargers, you charge your batteries. It holds all your tools, all your miscellaneous compartments for the all your drills and stuff. I got coming here, this side, the dirt is higher than that side. You can see a gap underneath it right there. I'm gonna push some of this dirt over, level it out. And then I'm actually gonna put like two inches, two and a half inches of concrete in here on my workshop. What's great about that is while I'm out here working on the land and stuff, if I want to leave the four wheel here, I can drive it in, lock it up with all the tools in it. And it's locking everything's going to keep an honest purpose and honest. That's all it's going to do. This drive through area here is 12 foot wide, 11 foot tall in the center there. These lean to is on the, on the far right side. It's seven foot tall. The other side's about, I don't know, about eight, eight and a half, maybe nine foot. But this is where I'm gonna park the tractor. And also uh, McDuff, our Highland cow, and Dave the donkey will be able to get out of the weather in here. This is a four foot wide door. It's bigger than a normal door, but this is gonna be access to our feed room slash tack, a little, a little bit of everything. When we bought our house, it come with a fridge, but it is a basic fridge. And we did have a fancy fridge with the water and everything. Well, like I said, the dirt's level high in here. So I'm gonna have to level it out. I'm gonna put concrete in here. But right here in this corner, the fridge is going here. Then I'm gonna have countertop all the way around to here. It's gonna be counter all the way over here to this beam right there by the window. I'm gonna have an AC unit in here. So our livestock guardian dog, if it gets too cold for them or outside or too hot for them, they're gonna be a doggy door in the door. When I bring it, I'm gonna put a doggy door in so he can get in out of the weather. So he's not stuck freezing or sweating his butt off. But the counter is gonna stop here. Then I'm gonna to try to find some cabinets and put some cabinets up along here. This for storage, for medication, supplies. That's why we're keeping the refrigerator in here too for like eggs. Any medication got to be chilled. You got extra freezer. And then over here underneath the window and around is going to be where we keep our feed at. And then I've been thinking about right there above the door. I mean, not above the door, but to the right of the door above making another storage area. Just for miscellaneous stuff. You never know what you need to put up there. Just so the space ain't all wasted. Then this side which you can see, I've got to bring a lot more dirt in here. We, we uh, me and my dad had it semi-leveled. It wasn't professional, but we had a lot of rain since we built this pad. We was told three or five weeks. We was told three or five weeks from the time we purchased the barn that it would be here. Well, we're four months down the road. So we have received a lot of rain in those four months. And so it lost a lot of the dirt away, which I'm not saying we wasn't perfect either. So 
I'm going to have to get my dad over here with the backhoe. We're going to have to bring some more dirt in because I got to level this up. We're going to bring dirt in here. We got to level all that up. But it's the barn is 30 foot deep. So each one of these poles is five foot in between. So the boy goats, we only got three. Two are going to be herd sires, one's a weather. We're going to make a little, it's going to be five by 10 for the boy goats. That's what their shelter is going to be. I want to make a stall, put a door on here. I'm going to go about six foot up. And then the space over here is going to be for hay. It's going to be for hay and other stuff like that. But it's going to be enclosed and it'll be a, an outlet with a heat lamp so I can put a heat lamp in here in the winter time. This, this area, this five by 10 area is going to be another stall, but it's going to be a birthing stall or if you got a sick goat or you need to get a goat away from, you know, you got one herd or whatever, you can put them in here. And it's still got a decent room, five by 10. This is the same way, this one and the next one. We're going to have three separate stalls for birds and stalls, whatever you need to do, quarantine a goat. You can put one in the center stall here and you're quarantined away from the other. And it's going to be enclosed completely. Like I said, above, above this, about six foot up, all that's going to be enclosed. So we got storage for the goats or anything you can my hunting gear my duck decoys whatever you can put them up in there and it's out of the weather since we're going to have more girl goats than we are boy goats the girls are going to get two sections it's going to be a 10 by 10 for the girls i'm going to have an entryway right here so i can get into the stall but this this part will be completely enclosed in and being closed in that way and I'm going to put a bench and stuff in here so the girls can get off the ground. But their feed and water and stuff will be right in here. I'm going to maybe make a feeder outside. But they'll have access to water. There'll be a water bucket hanging on outside for both sides of the boys and girls. This is the other side of the, the barn. And I'm actually going to build a wooden door that closes. And it has a, just a kind of like a doggy door thing where you can lock it up at night, but it'll have a door there so the goats can get in and out. And then you have a main door where you can open. So if you need to clean out the stall, you can pull a tractor right up here and clean it out. And then this is the, will be the boy side. And you'll see here, I've already painted orange there cause I'm gonna start stretching the fence out that way. And I got an orange here. We're gonna stretch fence that way. And I figured it up. The boys area will be 56 by 150 feet. And it will be three of the boys in there. Pretty big room. It goes way out there. And I'm going to, since we had a lot of uh, issues with the neighbors, my wife didn't want our fence buttoned up to the property line. So I'm actually going to go seven foot away from the other fence and keep an area where I can drive through my lawnmower, drive my full wheeler through, but it keeps seven foot away seven foot away from the, our property line. So nobody messes with our goats. Now this is the back side of the barn. They uh, really like it. Like I said, they still gotta get the brain of the door, but I'm gonna put a window unit in that window. And the, the fence for the boys is gonna go out that way. So this area from here to here, I'm gonna, I got a livestock trailer, I've got a boat. And I've got two other trailers. And that's where I'm gonna park my trailers is in this area. I'm gonna clean up that area and I may park a trailer back there, but I'm gonna keep most of my trailers right in this area. So kind of out of eyesight, eyes, what, what sorts. But I'm super excited about all this. Right now we got uh, quite a bit of stuff in storage buildings because we're still waiting on the house. We're, I can see the house is there, but they still gotta do underpinning. We still gotta do the electric and stuff like that. I don't know if I talked about it in, in, uh, in the video, but here in my workshop, I'm gonna come up six foot or so up the pole and come out about two foot and have shelves well, up there. I mean, have a shelf so I can stack stuff up there. So my wife wants to put Christmas decoration. 
well, like I said, we got a bunch of stuff in storage. Now we got this barn and I'll put the shelf in here. We can put a lot of stuff that, you know, seasonal decorations, my wife's decorations she wants and stuff. We can put up there in my workshop and they're out of the way. In the same way over here, if we want to use some of this storage, but I mainly, I want this area above the, the goats for hay, square bell hay. And this area here is 12 foot wide. I'm gonna hang a 12 foot gate. I'm gonna put a gate here. One, to keep the animals from getting out. But two, say the tractor's parked here, say the tractor's parked here. And I wanna to go to the front yard and do something, say till up the garden or whatever. And instead of having to drive all the way down there, go through the double gate. I mean, the, the 16 foot entrance and way down there. All I got to do is open this 12 foot gate and I'm gonna drive right around and it's less work and be able to, but I got to do some dirt work before I do a lot more. I got to do bringing a lot of dirt, which we're going, I'm going to be doing a lot of dirt work. And like I said, I got to move dirt around in the shop in the storage room to level it out. I got to add dirt where the goats are going to be and the main part, drive through part of the barn. I gotta add dirt, but I've gotta do dirt work before I can do the fence and I can do the doors and the stall, but I really wanna do all the dirt work first before I start building inside the stalls. So that's gonna be a process. But luckily we're digging the pond, so we have all that dirt. We have all the dirt from the pond that we're gonna be digging so I can bring in here and level this all out now. This side here where the goats are going to be and in the center part does not have to be perfect. I just want it flush. The part with the, the shop and the, and the storage room, it has to be perfect. And I'm going to get out there with boards and I'm going to make sure it's level 100% when I pour the concrete. I'm going to do the concrete myself. I'm just going to get some, some cattle panels, lay in there, and then pour the concrete in. Buy a bunch of bags of quick creep and smooth it out. And that's going to be my plan. Next week or two, we're going to be running the water. I'm definitely going to be recording that. I'm going to run water. I'm going to trench all the way to the barn. I'm going to trench along the fence all the way to the barn here. And that's where we're going to run our water hookup and electric. Because I want to run under here, run all the way there. And like I said, I'm going to have spigots on the back side so there are water bowls that automatically water and everything. But I just want several spigots throughout so I'm not trying to stretch garden hoses everywhere. It's gonna be a little expensive running all the wire, but I, I mean the water, run the wire and the water. It's gonna be a little expensive, but I think it, it will, it will be a good thing getting all this set up. Thank y'all for following along. I appreciate all my subscribers, all my viewers. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do. And hit that notification bell so you're notified of any upload. And hit that like button for me. Bonded Oak Acres out.